I'm so dead. Yeah. 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 Gone on you with the pick and roll. Young and flame. Hi, Gay Sleep Gaming viewers. It's been a while since I had to record. What the f dude? Clothes. I don't know why my webcam keeps popping up. What? 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 No! Why did it close on me? What the heck, man? I don't know what's going on today. Did I accidentally close it? Oh, forget it. Yeah, this game is called Hide and Seek. Can I? I guess I can't use my control. What the hell? What the? What the? What? What the what? 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 What is this? What? I'm confused. What's going on here? What? Oh, so much for playing that game. Forget it. Uh, I guess I'll play another game. Cause why not? Uh, I can't see with my phone on the way. Launch. This ought to be an interesting one. Miss Director Demo. <clears throat> really? Pretty sure I don't have anything else running in the background. Not that I know of, that is. Close this. Come on. Yeah, there's nothing else running in the background. So. This is darn thing so slow. Uh, first time recording after so long and I'm already having technical difficulties. Hey. Ooh. New reel. Miss Director. Let's see how this game goes. Would you like to skip the intro? Nah, we'll watch the intro. Let's just see. Patricia had arrived at the manor just after sunset as a thick fog began rolling in. She had a knot in the pit of her stomach the entire drive, and the haunting atmosphere wasn't helping. She spoke with the Miss Josephine Valentine. Valentine. I think I'm saying that right. On the phone. The woman had explained she was an up and coming director that was interested in hiring Patricia for a leading role in her new film. Oh. The whole ordeal was the whole ordeal was sketchy as you can get. Josephine asked her to come late in the evening, yeah, alone, to a mansion in the middle of nowhere. See, the, why would you go? But Patricia still need this gig, and she want to keep food in her belly, roof over her head. Ah, that makes sense. So, despite her better judgment, she had come. The director was friendly, but something felt slightly off about the way she smiled. Like she was excited about something she couldn't tell. This didn't ease Patricia's anxiety. She welcomed Patricia warmly. Pert, ah, pert, pert, oh, I can't speak and speak today. Okay. Patricia warmly offering some tea and a seat on one of her overstuffed couches. But only being an up and coming director, she seemed fairly well off. Yeah, that should be sign number two. They discussed what part Patty will play in the film, and Josephine gave her a script. Patricia looked in, looked, looked it over between sips of butter tea, sips of butter, sips of bitter tea. Oh, why can I not speak today? Making mental notes of his cliches. Miss Valentine started out asking fairly standard questions. Ah, give me a second here. Okay, asking about Patricia's pre previous work and her experience as an actress. Patricia listed all some of her previous starring roles. However, it wasn't long before the subject began to shift. A director asked if she was scared easily. Oh boy. Where is this going, I wonder? Patricia assured her she wasn't. She followed up her question asking if Patricia believed in ghosts. Patricia didn't entirely know how to respond. What did this have to do with the, the script? 
The director had described her film as a murder mystery, not a horror. Oh, I think I know where this is going. Then, without warning for her answer, she asked Patricia if she was afraid of death. Patricia gave her a look, hoping the director was just kidding around. But Miss Valentine didn't waver. Her question was serious. Patricia remained silent and averted her gaze. The question got increasingly worrisome. How close are you to your mother? Do you have a significant other by chance? Do you worry about those you love missing you? Oh no. See? Get the hell out of Dodge. Patricia continued sipping at her tea to give herself excuses not to answer. And eventually Miss Valentine took the hint. The conversation shifted back to the script at hand. Despite the odd question that might lead her to believe otherwise, she knew her tea was a poison. It was dreadful and cheap, but not poisonous. Had it been, she would have tasted the cyanide. The director insisted Patty stay the night to study it and then audition properly in the morning. It was a strange request to say the least, but she accepted regardless. She wanted to decline, but she knew fully well that told her future employer no could jeopardize the whole affair. And Patricia wasn't willing to take that gamble. I would have left, like, in the middle of the night. It sounds like you have a very interesting plot plan. I'm sure it will captivate, captivate audiences. I'm glad to hear you think so. My professors didn't think so much, unfortunately. I don't know why they think they can teach at a film school. They gave my half-wit class, classmates passing grades even though their assignments was a laughable predictable. Was laugh laughably predictable. So mundane. And then he had the audacity to fail me. Me. Can you believe it? Bastard work wasted my time and money. Yes, no doubt about it. Not to be bothered. Not to be a bother, but I'm not feeling too well. Could you point out the restroom for me? Ah, oh, sorry about that. Hopefully you'll be feeling better before we begin filming. Just behind me in a door to the right of the hallway. That's the bathroom. Can't miss it. Thank you. I'm guessing she means this way. I can't just go running around the rest of the mansion. Or is it this one? Is this the bathroom? Oh yeah. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Why am I so stupid? I knew I shouldn't have come here and yet look where we are. Oh, I thought there was something behind her. Okay, Patricia, breathe. It's going to be okay. Just need to survive tonight and then get the hell out. No problem. Oh, what? What the? What the? I don't know. Director must have knew something. But where am I? What was that thing? And how did I end up in bed? Last thing I remember, I was looking in the mirror, then that thing. Did did I dream it? I don't remember going to bed. I have to leave. Now. You surely do. I don't care if I drink it or not. I don't want to spend another minute in this place. Yeah, let's get the heck out of here. Something we both agree on. Hello? Would you like to save your progress? You're in a very dangerous spot right now, and it'd be a shame for you to die so soon. What? What? <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> Ma'am, I... There was a thing in the mirror. Then I think I fainted. Then I somehow woke up here. Miss, if you would just... I mean, there's always a possibility that my team was drugged. Now I'm insanely hallucinating all of this. Or could it all be a nightmare? Though I seem far too lucid for this to be just a dream. And that doesn't explain Miss... <laughs> Not to be rude, but could you please stop talking? <laughs> You're interrupting me and we don't have a lot of time. Hmm. Fine. Sorry for not taking everything at face value. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I understand. Please just work with me for a minute. I promise I'll keep it quick. <clears throat> it isn't safe for you to stay here that much. You already know, but you can't leave through the door you came in. There are spirits trapped here who will help you escape. <gasps> Maybe if you survive, you could find a way to put an end to all of this. Okay? 
sure okay I'll bite <laughs> but how exactly what part of not much time do you not understand you can call me whenever you need through whenever you need through other phones in the house I have to go soon but before I go let me save your file just as a precaution but what does that even just let me help you god damn it <laughs> you you can ignore me if you want later, but I need the base file to refer back to in order to help you. Fine, fine, Jesus Christ. I'll let you make me a file. But you better explain all this later. You hear me? <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. Go push the book on the bookshelf over to your left. I'll explain everything when you call me again. Oh, that is too funny. <laughs> Oh my goodness, she wouldn't even let the person, the spirit on the phone talk. The script the director gave me last night. The writing is subpar at best, but I prefer not to put my job on the line just to give constructive criticism. Yeah, that's why she feel. A tiny dancer spins in the music box and continues to play a tune. That's creepy. Looks like a dusty old sun hat. Just kind of exploring the room before. A vase of plastic flowers. Patricia fixes her hair in a vanity mirror. Don't you want to avoid mirrors after that? Just an empty chest of drawers. Okay. I can't sleep. Can I? There's a book sticking out. Slightly push it in. Yes. Whoa. What is going on here? Broken radio. A camera pointed at a sizable hole in the wall. Where's the hole in the wall? Where's the hole in the wall? Never mind. Alright, all seeing telephone girl. You got some explaining to do. What the hell is going on here? Who exactly are you? And why do you need to save my file? What does that even mean? Ma'am? Please slow down. One question at a time. Who are you? I am a phone operator. Or at least I used to be one. I was hired by Miss Valentine. Violetine. I think that's how you say it as a sort of secretary for a brief period. Nowadays all the lines to the outside are cut. So the only place I could send calls anymore is inside the mansion. Well, that's inconvenient. And here I was hoping we can just phone the police. But that but that just be too easy now, wouldn't it? Ugh. If I could make calls outside this manner, I assure you I would have called the police a very long time ago. But we aren't that lucky. Fair enough. So you're dodging my question. Who are you exactly? I'm just a helpful phone operator, ma'am. You're trapped here as well, aren't you? Unfortunately, yes. I am dead. You are speaking with the deceased, deceased over the phone. A real dead ringer. <laughs> Do you have any other questions? Preferably not of me. Yes. Am I in danger? I got out of that room just like you said. I'm in the clear now, right? Not quite. You're always in danger as long as you're here, Miss Doll. <clears throat> the director won't let you out alive. She never planned to. The director has a myriad of tricks up her sleeve, so it'd be best to keep your wits about you. She can be awfully unpredictable. Any further questions? Yes. What's a save file? Like, I need to know. Why do you need to save a file for me anyhow? Well, I need to know how much progress you made and I need to record it. So, should a terrible accident occur, I'll have the file for future reference. Future reference? In case someone ends up here and I manage to get in contact with them. Perhaps what you found out while you were alive will be useful to them. That's reassuring, I guess. Any further questions? How do I get out? The only safe way out is through the front door, which has been locked by now. Find the director, you find the key. Find the key, then you're free. Easy? Easy, right? Any further questions? No. You should be going on your way now, Miss Doll. Please be careful. Would you like me to update your file before you go? Yes, please. Oh gosh. Where do I go from here? Just ain't trying to die, you know. Yeah, locked door, locked door, of course. Wait, what? It says room two on the door. Oh, 
look, another bathroom. Isn't that lovely? Nothing else? Okay. Well, no, 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 no. I don't want to go back in there. Lock door says room through on the door. Okay. Lock door, room four. Lock door, no label. Whoa! What was that? What was that? Just a shower. Just a shower? Did you not see that? Did you not see that? I guess not. There's some sort of weird black ooze coming out from underneath. Maybe it's best I don't go in there then. Can I like run or anything? No? Cause you know, just in case. Oh yeah, I can run. But that's what you call running. Holy cow. Dude, there's a key right there. There's a small silver key to the one over the floor. Guess someone left it on the floor. Run, run, run. Something just told me to run. So I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. You never know. Uh, was this room two? No. No, I think this one was room two. Yep. <clears throat> oh, look, it's the phone again. You seem nervous. Perhaps a book will calm your nerves. Would you like to save your progress? Yeah, sure. Why not? Just an ordinary bookshelf. Wait a second. One of the books is sticking out. Trap finding for the unabsorbent. Oh wow. Real settled. I bet if I take it out, spikes will come down from the ceiling. Or the walls will start closing in on me. Or some other horror cliche. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm dead. I knew it. <laughs> Whoa. Holy shit, that hurt. But at least I'm in one piece. Wow. Wow, build your own bear trap kit. Weird. Yeah, that is weird. A container of prop swords and umbrellas. They look cheap and easily breakable. Just a pile of old boards. Did I really manage to break that with my fall? Yeah, we're not going to think about that. A container of prop -o. Same thing. Plastic prop shield. Filled with brim. Filled to the brim with props and costumes. So I'm guessing Lady gets... I'm judging by this game. This lady went psycho crazy after she... Dropped out of school. Became a so-called director on her own. And started finding actors and actresses that weren't like... Really big or upcoming ones. And were killing them. Whoa! What the f Can we hide in the closet, please? Can we? No. Uh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. What the heck is that? Is that one of the ghosts? <gasps> I survived. Is it is it gone? I don't think I want to leave this place. Can I go back up? I'm sorry I pulled the bookshelf. I'm sorry. Can I please go back? Please? Pretty please? Or maybe it was meant for me to come down here. Is it gone? Can I save? Please? Where did it go? Watch is probably gonna pop up as soon as I leave. No. Nope. Were the flowers in the painting always that dead? Probably not. Would you like to save? Yes, please. <sighs> so that's the bathroom I went into. It's a coat closet and it's locked. Okay. The monster must have come from in here. Why do I have to come this way exactly? 
the way it's locked to the library. Locked to the... I don't want to go in there. I already washed that one. Would rather claw my eyes out than wash that one again. God, does this woman have any good taste? What the fuck is going on? Make yourself useful. Help me pick a real, won't you? Who are you? My name's Patricia Dahl. I came here to work on a film for Miss Ballantine. Violatine. Who might you be? Don't you recognize me? Anna Bartine, famous actress. One best supporting role last year. Surely you must have heard of me. Uh, not really. Uh, how disappointing. You must have absolutely awful taste in film if you're completely unfamiliar with my work. I almost pity you, really. Excuse me? Sorry, I don't watch many films myself. You know, since I'm usually very busy with other more important obligations like filming, going to charity balls, doing autograph signings, discussing contracts and brand deals, you know, the average schedule of a starlet. Ah, of course. How silly me. How could I not recognize you of all people? Your performance as the creature from the Black Lagoon was simply fantastic. It's amazing how little makeup they had to do to make you utterly grunt. <laughs> Jackass. <laughs> Oh my goodness, unfortunately, it's a little hard to miss, and also the fact it's the abomination that killed me. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. It's tragic, truly. Talent such as mine wasted away like this. It attacked me while I waited for the director to return with another film for us to watch. No doubt she sicked it on me because I'd been critical of some of her camera work, and her writing, and music composites, composition, and everything else, honestly. I suppose questioning my employer film making ability was a poor decision, but was robbing the world of a gifted actress such a, such as myself really worth it? <clears throat> I prefer not to talk about it any longer. It makes me feel ill to remember. Well, sh why should I? I'm bored out of my mind in here, and choosing a film from this lunatic's collection is like picking what tool you want to use to stab your eyes out. Perhaps if I could distract myself from the tragedy of my situation. My restless spirit can move on to the next life. And if you do me a favor, I'll tell you where to find my room key. You should be able to find something value. Value to you amongst my belongings. Vulture. Oh. Rude. Alright, I got you. I'm just going to sit down. So you expect me to sit here. <clears throat> and choose the movie for you. And what happens if I fail, huh? Horrors of the sh of the what? What the? I'm not even moving the freaking thing. The girl on the hotel balcony. The thing from the murky lake. <clears throat> the mansion on Murder Mountain. Yep, definitely this one. How's this sound? Worth a shot at least. Ah, oh, fine, y'all. Let's see what this film has to offer. Maybe she has at least one good movie in her collection. Get it? They're in the mansion. That's why I chose that one. Sometime later. That? That was terrible. If I could die twice, I surely would have been killed by the sure second embarrassment. The acting, the direction, the writing, the entire thing was a horrifying mess with no tone or logic. And I think I almost let this director hire me. And I think I actually did let this director hire me. Maybe I deserve death after all. So, it seems watching some par cinema isn't going to make me feel any better. God, i kill for a glass of wine. I'm far too sober to deal with this right now. Maybe with some alcohol, I'll be able to move on to the next life with no more problems. A glass did always help my nerves before filming. Seriously? <clears throat> now you want me to go find you a drink? Can you even? Oh, crap. I didn't even get to read the last part. I'm not giving you my key until I can move on. And I'm not going anywhere until I have some wine to help me cope. Fine, fine, I'm on it. Jeez, aren't you just a spoiled one? Now, where exactly am I supposed to find a glass of wine exactly? <sighs> Is that monster going to pop up again? 
What's this way? Where's the kitchen at? I'm pretty sure that's where the wine would be. What the? What the? What the? What the what? Can I? Just what I was looking for. Now all I need to do is track down some wine. Uh, well, I'm in the right direction. Door to the basement, I guess. It's look. It's locked up tight. <clears throat> <clears throat> Locked up with some sort of combination lock. Isn't that just wonderful? Where am I supposed to find some freaking wine? What's in here? Oh, I think this one was locked, wasn't it? Yeah. So do I gotta go upstairs again? Is this the room where I came from? What? Oh, I was gonna say what? To... Where am I supposed to find some wine at? Sheesh, man. Oh, here we go. Looks like there's some wine left in one of these bottles. Awesome. Sorry about that. Really dropped the ball on warning you about traps. Won't happen again, promise. Would you like to save your progress? Yes. Yeah, thanks for telling me I found them, Phil. An unfinished love letter it would seem. How cute. Let's get the heck out of here. Get this person their wine. But really? Freaking, uh, controller. Two glasses and some wine as requested. Oh, thank heavens. Took you long enough. It took some convincing to get Anna to share, but they both managed to get a few glasses worth out of what was left of a bottle of wine. They chatted about the film from or earlier, laughing about its shortcomings and going on about what they would have done if they'd been in charge instead. As it turned out, after a glass of wine or two, Anna was quite pleasant company, though she never did explain how she was even able to drink, giving her mostly in corporal form. Of course. I must admit, I didn't think you'd actually get the wine from me. I only realized after you left that perhaps my first impressions hadn't been the best, and because of that, maybe you had decided to not help me after all. Leaving me with no wine, no good film, and no companionship. Doomed to wander here in eternal agony with no hopes to escape. I won't lie. I honestly considered it. Well, nevertheless, you came through for me. And as such, I'll uphold my end of the bargain. I'll give you the location of my room key. I believe I dropped it in a ballroom whilst the director was showing me around. That's the last time I remember seeing it. I'm quite sure. Now, hold the phone. I wish you luck in your escape. And in your Hollywood career. Terribly sorry for all of this. You didn't uphold our deal at all. Farewell, Miss Doll. Take care. Aww. Guess I'll have to search the ballroom. Damn ghost, it's tricking me. <laughs> oh, I didn't even get to read the last part. The key to the den is sitting between the couch and cushions. Not the key we're going on, but it'll have to do. Let's see, how am I doing time wise? Okay, 30 minutes in. I don't want to make my videos too long. Alrighty, well, I guess I'll stop it here, because why not? Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It actually feels really, really, really good to be recording again. This, uh, I think I'll do a, a whole gameplay of this one, because why not? Probably this game and another one. But um, please, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. My, you know, subscribe to my channel, share my videos, you know, do whatever helps, you know, to help get me out there and um, notice. And I'll see you guys in another video.